Smooth Gang, Shooter Crew. It's your boy, Mr. Smooth One Fire Two. And you already know what it is when you see my face up on the screen, right? <laughs> yeah, story time for that ass. What's good with y'all? Salute to y'all. I'm running them views up. Tell them a friend to tell a friend to come through. Smack that like button. Hit that naughty bell. So you can become part of the fam. So I love on this side. You know what I mean? So let's get into the story time for the day. You know what I mean? So today's flavor right here. We got some motherfucking blueberry gelato and shit. You know what I mean? So we're about to jump right into this. Blueberry gelato. See what's going on with it. Why? Nice little cool taste with it. Flavor. Alright, so let's get into the story, y'all. So boom. Shit jumps off like close to the end of the summertime. You know what I mean? So it was a couple of heads outside and you know how it is when the liquor come into play, the chicks come outside to play with the niggas and the niggas ain't getting their way. Shit is bound to happen. So let's get into the story like this. Boom. Me, my cousin, my man, little midget ass Joe. You know what I mean? We was all outside one day. Right? Outside just chilling. We was on Lennox and shit. In front of one of the buildings that we had out there. Pumping the bud and shit. But we was just outside just chilling this day and shit, right? You know how niggas be outside, cracking on each other, talking the shit, you know what I mean? So, that's how shit started, you know what I mean? So, cool. Right? So, during the course of the day, little midget nigga and my man G were running back and forth to the store and shit, to the LQ. You know what I mean? So, I don't drink nothing but dark. You know what I mean? Henny, Remy, Duce, shit like that. Dark shit. These niggas come back with some motherfucking Amsterdam. Some motherfucking some crazy shit that little midget niggas used to drink. Some, um, what the fuck? Was, it had some gold flicks at the bottom. Some gold schlager shit he used to drink back in the death. What the fuck is this shit? He sipping on that shit like it's some, it tastes like black licorice. That's what the fuck he was drinking. And he had a 40. Now, like I said, this nigga was a midget. This nigga always drinking 40s. You know, a 40 to a midget is half, I mean, all your body weight, my nigga. And this nigga throw them shit back. And by the time he finished drinking, the nigga be all staggering all over the place, trying to run his mouth to chicks and be scaring their asses off. That little, nigga, nigga, that little midget nigga, he funny as hell, though. He funny as hell, but once he get to talking, he talk himself right out of some ass. I don't know how he do it, but the nigga just talk himself smooth out of some ass every time. So, boom. They running back and forth to the store, come back with drinks and shit. I'm out there smoking. And then, I get a phone call, right? One of the bros called me. I told niggas where I was at and shit. Niggas came to pick me up. I left niggas on the block. Yo, I'll be back. Boom. So, we go slide out. Now, we gonna slide out because bro said he knew where a party was for the night, right? All right, cool. Now, <coughs> y'all niggas that fuck with me, New Essex County area. <coughs> Blueberry gelato, okay. Thought y'all was. I thought you was a sleeper. Got me there. But I boo. Bro said he knew where party was. So where this party at? Up in Irvington. Oh come on, bro. You know how Irvington be giving it up. I ain't never been to the Terror Dome. I ain't trying to go to the Terror Dome. Nah, good. I'm good, son. Nah. So. We ended up going to this motherfucking party up there. One of the little clubs up there shit. And the club was jumping. The club was jumping. I ain't really a club type of nigga. I'd rather go through a strip club type situation, but 
this was a, a club situation that turned into the strip club afterwards and shit like that. So that's how it ended up going. So I was there. I was socializing and getting my drink on and shit. Cooling. Now, it's good 12, maybe 1 o'clock right about now, right? I step outside. I go sit on the car. I rolls me up a blunt. All of a sudden, bro come. Or not the motherfucking spot. Fuck you coming out here for? Well, they ain't there fighting. Niggas said that shit all calm as hell and shit. Well, they ain't there fighting. But you can't run out the motherfuckers. And he said, nah, I just wanted to get out the motherfucking door before niggas start shooting or some dumb shit. So, yeah, niggas in there fighting. I'm like, word? So, I'm rolling up the blood. I ain't never moved. I'm sitting on the hood of the car. I'm rolling up the blood. And you just see niggas come rushing out the door. There's niggas and then there's a row of chicks and niggas and a flooded. It just, they just come out the motherfucking club. This nigga stayed about six foot. Two of some chain. Big bronic nigga, right? I don't know why this nigga had one of them folding ass chairs. And he was holding that shit in his hand. This motherfucker come out and he's swinging this shit. Boom, boom, boom. He cracking this nigga. And he fucking him up with this. Boom, boom. Cracking dude all over his face. Dude squaring up with the nigga though. Put the chair down. And getting clunked with the chair. Bing, bing. Put the chair down. Why you niggas just said, fuck that shit. He just rushed dude. When he rushed the dude, he had him get the building, giving him body shots. Oh, oh. This motherfucker took that motherfucker chair, cracked that shit over his motherfucker back, and nigga fell on his knees. He just pushed the dude down. Come in the street. Let me square over to come in the street. So, they go square up in the street and shit. This big nigga, big nigga, he all up here, little nigga down there, he about 5'8, five, 5'9. And they squaring up and shit. This nigga 6'5". He big as hell. Boop, back, boop, back. Lord, regular, regular nigga giving it to the big nigga. Boop, back, boop, back. Give it to the big nigga, right? So the big nigga just caught him by his motherfucker shirt. And shook the nigga. And just caught his ass. Boom. Point the nigga in his mouth. And his tooth flew out. Boop. Yo, motherfucker, just knocked my motherfucker tooth out. He snapped away from dude. And yo, when he went to look at his motherfucking hand and I was off his mouth, and they was like, oh, nah, chief, you know, knock my tooth out. You see the tooth on the ground and shit? The nigga just went crazy. Remember that chair he was getting smacked with? You know, the big nigga had dropped that shit. They was in the middle of the He went and grabbed that shit and was what? Bing! 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 Fucking the big nigga up, right? Boom. Fucking the big nigga up. Big nigga down to one knee. He smacked the shot of the nigga. Bow! Bow! The big nigga takes him and just throw him into the car. Boom! Throw him into the car. He got up. When he got up, the little nigga, the regular nigga, he got up behind him. Hey, what's up? What's up? So, Big nigga was trying to get his motherfuckers buried back. He just got slapped the fuck out of him twice. Blah, blah. So he trying to get his shit back. He like this and shit. Regular nigga like, yo, what's up? What's up? Hitting him. Boom, boom, boom. He breaking the big nigga. Breaking him. Breaking him. Big nigga just said, yo, fuck that. Yo, fuck that. He picked the nigga up and just threw him on the ground. Boom. And ran off. He ran off. As he's running. His boys start chasing the nigga. Catch the big nigga. Big nigga start going in. Bang, 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 boom. They regroup, then fuck the big nigga up. Boop, bap, boop, bap, boop, bap. Police came. Yo, it's time for us to go. We slid, right? <laughs> we go to another spot. And. As we riding through the hood and shit, going to another spot, 
we slide up on Met, I mean, one fucking White Castle. Because we right there, Irvington is a White Castle right there. We slide up on motherfucking White Castle as we pulling up. We looking, damn the motherfucking perk like get the cracking. We swerving the motherfucking perk like, phew. Niggas up to squaring up, females squaring up. Yo, what the fuck is in the water tonight? Niggas is out here fighting for their life out here like it's going crazy. Yo, the life of the hood. Irvington, North, East Times, Essex County. It's live over here. Niggas is fighting this motherfucking White Castle parking lot in Irvington. Like, yo, right there. Like, boom. Get in there. Boop, back, boop, back. Nigga got his shit broke. Pull back. Nigga shit just start leaking. Nigga just start spitting up blood. Bro, bro, bro. Yo, yo, yo. I'm good. I'm good. I'm back to pop that shit. Got his shit broke. We in the car just watching this shit. Like, hey, what the fuck is going on out here? Niggas is going crazy. The females in the corner over there just wilding. It's like three, four females over there fighting this shit. And they just throwing drinks and motherfucking shoot at each other. What the fuck is going on with these motherfucking fights? Man? Yo, the hood be wilding. Liquor, black folks in the hood, hot temperatures, don't mix, yo. Niggas don't know how to keep their motherfucking composure. <clears throat> but it be lit on the weekends, because that's what you're going to mainly find out here if you don't find a motherfucking nice, calm, cool, collective crowd to chill with. You're going to find somebody that's going to be on some dumb shit and want to fight and turn the crowd up the wrong way. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's basically everywhere you go. You know what I mean? But where I'm from, that's a normal type of situation. Especially on the weekends. Niggas get that look in there, feeling like motherfucking Superman, and think they can beat the world. Especially if they add a little bit of drugs to the shit. Don't do it. Like, it's not a waste of time, because either one of two things are going to happen. But one of three things, you're going to get beat up, end up in the hospital, or dead. Oh, one more thing. Lock the fuck up. Yeah, I mean, it ain't worth the time, you know what I mean? But the fights in the hood be wild as hell, you know what I mean? You never know what you're going to see. But just make sure you safe while you watching this shit if you ain't partaking. Yo, it's your boy Mr. Smooth 152, aka the shooter, and I'm gone.